FPV drone dragon here to show you how to upgrade the Jumper T Pro that comes with the Jumper Giaki 800 millimeter BTOL wing that you see in the background here. And I am going to install the full 1000 milliwatt, 1 watt ER. ELRS module into the Jumper T Pro and I will be showing you that today Okay to start you want to take the rubber grips off. I use a little flathead screwdriver pop the rubber grips off pop batteries out And then there's like 10 screws all the way around that you need to unscrew right there. And after you get the 10 tiny screws out of the back, you pop it apart real easy because there's a bunch of wires inside that are connected. And you have to pop those connections loose slow and easy so you don't break any of them. Like I said, when you pop it open, be careful because there's four cable connections and the antenna connection that you have to break free, as you can see. And then once you get it open, carefully unplug the plugs carefully. You, I use tweezers to unplug the plugs. And then you are going to remove this module here, and we are going to replace it with the one watt. ERLS version and I already have 3.0 ERLS installed into the radio that came ready to fly so all I am going to do is upgrade the module because it probably needs to be upgraded to 3.0 and then it should bind so we're going to unscrew the two screws out of this module and it just pops right out it's pinned and then underneath of it is a plastic heat sink shield that you're going to need to take out. And this is going to go right in place of it. And that's four more screws. After you get the last screw out of the heat sink shield, you just take that out. It's plastic. Use the same screws to put the new one watt module back in. And you're just going to sit that right back in. in the place just like that and put the four screws back in it okay after you get the last screw in and you get the one mo one watt module secure you of course then want to plug it in and the way you want to plug it in is with the black wire at the very bottom closest to the bottom like that black on the bottom and then of course you want to put it back together and plug all everything back in there's four plug connections and then the antenna connection that you must plug back in and when connecting the cables back together I recommend connecting the small servo cables the white sockets first connect them first and then the black cables and after you take your time plugging in all four connections and the antenna connection pop it back together make sure no wires are being pinched look at everything that's important make sure your wires and antenna are clear and connected and then you're just going to put 
10 screws that you took out, you're going to put them right back in. And then after you get all 10 screws back in, of course you want to put the batteries in. And then you want to pop both of the hand grips back on tight and then turn it on. Okay, after you get it back together, power it up. You can see that. You probably can't see it. But. You want to go into the Express LRS. In the tools. Open that up. Go to TX Power. You can't see it. I can't. But. If you go to TX Power. You'll see Max Power. And now I go all the way up to 1,000 milliwatts. So it's working. Yahoo, Very simple process. The ELRS 1 watt upgrade internal module for the Jumper T Pro can be bought on AliExpress. And I'll put the link below in my video for others to be able to order. And as far as the heat sink and the 100 watt ELRS, I'll keep it for spares. You never know. But the 1 watt module comes loaded with 2.5.0 ELRS. And if you're not on that version, you will have to go into the configurator. ELRS configurator download it in the GitHub and then update your internal ELRS module to whatever version you're running. I'm running 3.0, so that's what I will be updating to. Okay, as far as updating the uh, internal 1 watt module you just installed, it's fairly easy to do. You're just going to download. The Express LRS configurator, the newest one out of the GitHub online. After you download it and open it, you want to put your release. I'm putting 3.0 in because that's what's in it and it's the easiest thing to do. I'll update later to the newest. Then you want to put your device target for this Jumper T Pro. You want to hit Jumper. 2.4 GHZ and then you want to put the device and since we're going to update the TX module you're putting TX you don't want to use pass through you want to use the Wi-Fi hit Wi-Fi come down here and set up everything you see that I have set up put in your home Wi-Fi and then put in your home Wi-Fi password. And then you want to come down here. And you want to build the file for the TX. And that takes some time. So you be patient. It could take five minutes. And it runs off like that. It will speed the process up. After the file is built. Then you want to take it and move it somewhere you know where it's at. And then you want to open up the radio, which is hard to see in this video, but you're going to open the radio up, turn it on. ELRS Lewis script that's already loaded into your radio if you have the ready to fly jumper Giaki 800. If not, you will have to load the Lewis script for ELRS into the tools file of the radio. But otherwise, once you have 
that and you go into the ER, ELRS Lewis script, scroll down to the Wi-Fi connectivity, hit Wi-Fi connectivity, and then hit enable Wi-Fi and it will start running and then you come over to your computer and go into your Wi-Fi disconnect and then ELRS will come up Oops, sorry and I already have it programmed in but what you will do is type in E Express LRS to connect to it. And I'm putting the link to the Express LRS documentation below that you can follow as well. But after that comes up, this is what you want to do hit update, and then you're going to go choose your file. And right here, you see you have your Jumper TX T Pro 3.0. You'll hit open. But hit it, hit open. And then you, I'm not going to do it, but you're going to hit update because I'm already updated. When it's done updating, wait a few minutes for everything to complete the process and then just turn the radio off and restart it and then you can go back into the express lrs lewis script scroll to the bottom and you should see uh, that you've updated your module and you, if you want to update the rx again which i would recommend because you, you're going to have to put the binding phrase in it's just the same exact process besides you're plugging the battery into the drone and waiting for the RX to start beeping rapidly and connect to the Wi-Fi. And then you just do this same exact process, but you uh, build a RX file for the Jumper Nano RX. Hopefully this video was somewhat helpful to people, but I'm sure you would want one watt or the ability for 250 watt, 500 milliwatt, or one watt if possible, if you're ever going to need that in the future. But that's how you put the module into the Jumper T Pro, and you will have full ability to have one watt without strapping an external module on this radio if it was helpful give me a thumbs up like thank you you can purchase the one watt internal jumper t pro elrs module from ally express open up the link below and scroll down and you will find all the parts that you can purchase for the Jumper T Pro.